Hello friends, I hope that you are all doing well. Welcome to this discussion where we are going to talk about the DV 2024 winners or the selectees chances of getting interviewed for the DV 2024 program. If you find this information useful, please subscribe for more. This has become a very common question in the comment section where some of my subscribers come and comment that I am from this country and my case number is in 19, maybe 19K. What are my chances of getting interviewed for the DV 2024? And to answer that question, I'll start by laying some foundation where you get to understand when the interviews will start, when they are supposed to end, and what to expect during the interviewing uh, process, and what you should have done before that. So to begin with, one, you should submit your DS-260 form for you to be scheduled for the interview. That is, if you are selected, you then need to submit your DS-260 form so that you can be selected, uh, you can be scheduled for interview, sorry. Therefore, if you do not submit, you're not going to be scheduled. So you might never receive any communication from um, the KCC. And when you submit your DS-260 form, it has to be processed. And once it has been processed and you filled the information carefully, it's not only just filling it, but filling it carefully, you then qualify to be scheduled for the interview. And for the DV program, uh, DV 2024 program onwards, you're not required to submit your documents to KCC. These supporting documents, you will carry them to the interview at the U.S. Embassy where you indicated as your location for interview. So once it has been processed, an opportunity presents itself in the U.S. Embassy where you are supposed to go for your interview, then you will be scheduled for the interview. And that is when your case number is current and by being current i hope you understand it means that the cutoff number published in the visa bulletin for a certain month happens to be above your case number so your case number will then have gone current then you can be scheduled therefore your case number determines if you will you have a chance of getting interviewed but there are other factors that can play for playing so that you get scheduled for interview and recently we have seen people uh, who are getting uh, case numbers in the range of 120 thousand that is for the dv 2024 which means the case numbers range for the dv 2024 have been increased from the previous program that is dv 2023 and therefore case numbers that we earlier thought that were high case numbers will not be high case numbers in dv 2024 program for example in the previous program if you had a case number that is in the 60,000, then that could be a high case number but in this program where we can see some people having 120,000 uh, case number then it means the the range is so high and therefore the case numbers even in the 50,000 and 60,000 will not be as high as in the previous program and to know more about uh, the the case whether being high or low we are going to soon get to know that that is through the publication that we expect to be released uh, soon that is in the month of july august about the dv 2024 statistics when the dv 2024 statistics uh, statistics are released we will therefore get to know what was the range in the case numbers and uh, and be able to determine whether a case number is high or it is low therefore 
my sub my subscribers will get to know when that happens i will be informing you and when that information is shared i will be informing my subscribers so be among them to get and benefit from this information the department of uh, state is the department that is um has the responsibility of deciding which case uh, ranges they are going to take for each program and therefore we are going to know about this when the statistics are, are uh, released and i'll also be sharing monthly embassy performance re uh, records information about the dv 2024 program and this way you will get to know which embassy is performing well in the scheduling of interviews which embassy is not doing well which can also help you to decide in good time whether to relocate your interview location as you know you could be having a low case number but if your embassy fails in the scheduling of interviews then it could uh, it could affect your chances of being interviewed so i'll be sharing with you the uh, information about performances of the dv 2024 uh, by each embassy that is in the scheduling of the interviews therefore friends if you've not yet subscribed subscribe to this channel so that you will benefit from this free information in your uh, processing in this dv 2024 program i'll be letting you all know when the statistics are released so that you can know if your case number is high or it is low i'll also be sharing with you information about the performances of the u.s embassies in the scheduling of the interviews so that you know how your embassy is performing and we will also be sharing more information on how to know how many people are before you how many cases are behind you so subscribe and benefit from all this information and friends that's all i had for this discussion please if you not uh if you liked this information subscribe like and share with your friends and family <laughs> so that they can benefit from this channel and the information here in their immigration journey. Thank you.